Hey friends, we're here at East Middle School in Rapid City and we're going to check out the newscast, the Raptor Nation News. Let's go check it out. Well, it's just something we started this year and the, um, our old announcements were done by Mr. Jones and he has a background in radio and his voice is phenomenal but he um, is starting to, to try other hobbies and stuff in the school so that we needed to do something new. So it was Mr. Lundeen's idea to have kids do a um, video newscast. We had done green screen stuff during COVID and so we started doing it in November and then at first I was doing the editing but then we've started to teach students how to do it and it's, it's like a six hour process for an episode but when you get five or six kids working on it and they're each putting in their time, they're doing 99% of it now. And so it's, it's their news and, and they cover what they want to cover. And, yeah. So it's essentially sort of like the school announcements? It's announcements, but then we add in things like um, staff shout outs to teachers. I mean, at our school, there's so many teachers doing awesome things for kids. So we want to make sure we are acknowledging the kids who are benefiting from that and the teachers who are providing those opportunities. And we do like Athlete of the Week and we have uh, little competitions and stuff between the teachers and kids. But at its core, it's just student announcements, weather and what's for lunch and what day it is. And then what do you think it's teaching the kids? I think the biggest push for this is there's a term called digital literacy um, in education and that's how are we preparing kids for like technology in the digital world. Mm -hmm. And I think the last 20 years schools have focused a lot on safety and making good choices online, which those are important, but there needs to be a bigger push I think for being producers and creators of online or digital content. Mm -hmm. And I think this is showing them one avenue. There's a lot of different outlets that it can turn into for them. Sure. My name's Rylan Hicks and I do the editing so I mash all the videos and put everything together after the rest. Okay, and how did you learn this skill of editing? Uh, Mr. Martin just gave me the brief preview and I built up from there. Now do you feel like this is a field that you'd want to work in? Possibly. Uh, I am the weather, and I'm on basically every day unless I'm sick or something. Because, I mean, I thought it'd be a, a cool opportunity to be basically on every day. Everyone watches me, all the grades. So, I mean, I thought it'd be pretty cool. So tell us about your fans out there. <laughs> well, I mean, the first time I did it, like, everyone would say, oh, 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 you're like, oh, you're oh, like, oh, you're like the weatherman or something. Oh, it just be like berated with people. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're hanging with some of the anchors of the newscasts. Good morning, Raptors. It's Jaina and Jordan. And tell us what you do for the newscast. So we both do the introductions, um, and then I do lunches and breakfast, and I do birthdays. Wow, that's a lot. Happy birthday. <laughs> also. Do Okay, and why is it important for you guys to do this? I think that <clears throat> it's, I don't know, it's kind of nice to have an interactive sort of way to have someone that you see every single day do the news. Mm -hmm. To have it be like someone you can talk to and it's not just like a teacher or anything, it's like people your age. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty cool. It's like more relatable to students. Yeah, it's like, it's a lot of fun. I've definitely grown a better bond with a lot of people in it. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to know that there's like, people who just like, they're not gonna like judge you for everything you do. Mm -hmm. That's nice to know as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun to, it, I knew I know people a lot better now and met some new people, so. That's a wrap. <laughs>